So this is part two of the story. This is how Harry met Sally. Harry is very excited these days to go to work. Looks like he found an ideal office. He's a project manager at a health and wellness consulting firm in Manhattan. So there are around 100 employees at his office space. The office space is well certified. As part of well certification, they have implemented several strategies that Harry loves. Harry takes the train to go to work. He gets down at Penn Station and takes one of the city bikes which has been expanding in New York City by the way. He rides the bicycle to office, his office I mean, which is around 2 miles from the station. Since Harry uses his bike and takes the public transportation, he gets a tax exempt payroll deduction. He also gets a subsidy of at least $50 from his office to cover the cost of the bicycle membership. This is done as part of the building's activity incentive programs. In addition, the building management also has a fitness program where more than 30 office co-workers utilize it. That's 30%. The building management also provides a subsidy of $240 to employees to cover their cost of fitness group activities, sports teams, participation in gyms and studios. As part of their active transportation support, the building management offers bicycle storage and basic maintenance tools. In addition, there are showers with changing facility. So once Harry gets into the building, he uses the shower and changing facility. He locks up all his belongings before heading to his office. Harry was telling me that shower facility and bike lockers all should be within 200 meters or 650 feet within the building entrance. Did I tell you that one day, I decided to join him to his office as I had an appointment with his boss. So Harry and I walk to the building lobby to catch the elevator and once I reach the lobby, I see wayfinding signs encouraging you to take the stairs. I found the sign really unique and inviting and I realized that the stairs are very close to the main entrance within 25 feet in fact and it's even before the building elevators. So basically the building management is trying you to encourage, they're encouraging you to take the stairs. So I entered the stair room, it was an experience with artwork on the walls. The stairwell also was well lit with the skylights. I could even hear a pleasant music as I walked up the stairs. What a pleasant way to start the day. As we enter his office space, I see a beautiful lady walking towards us. That's Sally. Sally is a wellness consultant. She has been hired by Harry's office as part of their structured fitness opportunity program where Sally offers on-site fitness to all the employees and she also arranges classes from qualified professionals every three months who come and teach about different modes of exercise, safe fitness techniques, etc. Wow, I am already liking his office. So Sally is giving me an office tour And I can see many cool features in their office that are not only environmental friendly but also beneficial for the wellness of the building occupants. As I walk around, I see spaces meant for collaboration, focus zones, quiet rooms for privacy or meditation. I also see a couple of cardio and muscle strengthening equipment. I was told by Sally the office provided these for at least 1% of the employees. The office had dedicated 300 square feet of exercise space. So I asked Sally why 300? So she said the requirement is 200 square feet plus 1 square feet per employee. Now since they had 100 employees that comes to 200 plus 100 making it 300 square feet. In addition I also noticed that they had external exercise spaces such as swimming pools, gyms, trails, which were not managed by the building management, but it's still available for the employees within 0.5 miles of their office space. So that was also part of the requirement. Another thing I noticed was active furnishings, meaning employees could stay active while working. So they had a combination of treadmill desks, bicycle desks, for a total of 3% of the employees. In addition, 60% of the workstations had adjustable height standing desk 
or standard desk with desktop height adjustment. I was told that 30% of these met the requirement of another well feature that related to ergonomics. So I was given a desk to sit, wait and work while I waited to meet their boss. So I got to burn a few calories while I waited using one of their active workstations. Plus I learned a few health and wellness facts. So did you know that sitting burns 50 calories less than standing? I did not. A good portion of their co-workers seems to be very active, very physically active I mean. And did you know that the recommended physical activity is 2.5 hours a day, which reduces overall mortality rate by 20%. The American College of Sports Medicine, by the way, recommends that healthy adults should engage in at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise for five days per week and muscle strengthening exercise or activity for at least two days a week. After I met with their boss, we all decided to go for lunch. We again took the stairs, enjoyed the artwork and view to outside. I noticed that even the building exterior is designed to include more amenities to facilitate more active living such as benches, walking trails, moving ch movable chairs, drinking fountain etc. So I asked them, is it also part of the design to meet well requirements? And Sally said, in order to promote pedestrian promotion, the building site designed and incorporated pedestrian amenities such as benches, drinking fountains, etc. Now, in order to promote pedestrian activity, they also installed a water fountain in the middle of the garden and also some public arts. Because the building was located in a dense neighborhood, it had a walk score of more than 70, which is also a requirement. That was an excellent day. Just being in that space for a few hours gave me a lot of energy. And now I know how Harry met Sally and how they are happy together.